It's November 1st. Time for a break after my big Halloween project. I'm going to relax, take some deep breaths, and oh, wait, I've got an idea for a new project. And it has to do with the future. By that, I just mean AI, or Artificial Intelligence Art Generator. So actually, that is the present, but it is definitely probably the way of the future. And uh, the one I'm using in particular is called Dream, I think, by Wombo. I'll show you how to get to it. Um, there's a lot of uh, controversy over AI art generation. They're like, is this going to put artists out of business? Maybe, maybe some of them. Um, I don't want to really get into any of the controversies. I'm going to use it as a tool for a collage. So I will, however, put some videos in the description below that kind of talk about it. It is neat. It is super addictive and a little eerie and crazy. Basically, you put in words. You say, put it in this filter. And then it comes up with this image. And sometimes it is incredible. And sometimes it is stupid. But you know, it's learning. It's machine learning. And will this be the end of the world? Will it be like Terminator? I certainly hope not. Um, because those movies got worse and worse and worse as time went on. And I don't want to be a part of that. Um, also, we may get in touch with future Rachel in this episode. You saw her a little bit in the beginning. And people who've watched my channel for a while have met her before. She's kind of... Let's call her a prankster. Or maybe let's just call her a little mean. I, I, don't, I, don't, like, I don't like her sometimes. I guess I got to come to terms with that. And let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. So I just went to Google and I typed in, um, I think Wombo Art or Dream by Wombo. It pops right up. Now this Try Dream Booth, you don't want to do that. At least that's not what I do. That's a beta for some sort of weird photo booth with AI. You want to go to this middle one here, Start Creating. Now I'm doing this without an account, without having to sign in. You type in a prompt. In this case, lizard in ball gown, pink roses, chandelier. Very common, very common prompt. And then you pick a filter. And I think I picked Pandora. I can't remember. And, um, and then you hit create. And now I'm going to show you this in real time, just the one time. It's pretty quick. It's maybe 20 seconds, 15 seconds. It's thinking, it's thinking about that lizard in a ball gown. And then it pops something up that's very interesting. Oh, that's weird. I'm gonna generate again. You can hit generate again, um, generate again, or change the prompt or change the filter. And when you like it, you hit download. And it just downloads it as you normally do. It's gonna, it does it in this, kind of sort of tall ratio so I don't I don't think there's any way around that when you're not oh yeah this guy <laughs> okay hello Kardashian so here's what we came up with these are my favorites we've got our lizard in a ball gown pink roses chandelier followed by an ocean of violets in bloom just for laughs then we move to French poodle ball gown green roses snow and French Poodle Ball Gown Pink Roses Crystal Ice Mansion. These hot pink ones are, these first two are a synth wave filter. I really like that filter. And then I got into Alice in Wonderland. We have Alice in Wonderland Chess Ball Gown, Sky Blue Crystal Ice Mansion. At some point I added Lace Frill Ruffle. And then after that, I even added Spanish Galleon. So you get these ship-like sort of references. Really interesting. And then we've got a few randoms. We've got long shiny blonde hair, queen crown of glass rainbow, and queen crown of glass stars. So these, along with other sources, are what I'm going to use to make two collages. They're pretty quick. They're just two collages, two songs. 
and we're beginning right now, right now. So, do I need permission from Wombo to use this image if I intend to sell this collage or make prints of it or license it on mugs, etc.? Uh, that depends on the legal term fair use. Uh, collage artists can use images, copyrighted images, without permission if their work is transformative enough, meaning it is significantly different from the source materials. But how transformative must it be? Uh, that can be a very gray area, and it changes case by case and artwork by artwork. And by case by case, I mean legal case. Yeah, and I think this will only get a little more complex and strange with the introduction of AI images. So, what do you think? Um... I think they came out great. Look at her, staring into honeybee land, the portal to honeybee land. Hey, Kitty. This one, I love. I I really love it. And I did use more elements, like this is the whole dress, the faces. So on that question of is it transformative, is the collage transformative, and therefore is it um, fair use, this one probably more so than this one so it comes into all these strange questions you can also feed an image into dream wombo and and maybe a prompt but the image is usually enough 
and then say give it to me in this filter and it does a remix for you a remix kitty you can't you can't eat a thumbtack it's bad for you he won't say eat thumbtacks okay so remixes of this one so here's my original work and the first two are interesting they're they're pretty true to the image they give it a couple of suns because of that yellow spot now this one very different very interesting filter and then i don't like the background on this one but i love the dress i love the details on the dress okay so here is my original double lady here very interesting very interesting i love how they picked up the stencil so well that one almost looks a little prismatic to me and then this one's softer but very very pretty this is my favorite coming up i love this i adore this i want it on my wall <laughs> and i never would have done that myself i never would have drawn like that and so that's what's sort of magical about AI is it just has all these possibilities and um, the things it puts out can be just amazing and beautiful. I have so many questions about the future of AI art. It is time to call future Rachel. She sent me this communicator from the future. She left it Bill and Ted style. She left it at Mount Rushmore for me in a secret location like 30 years ago her time and like one year ago my time so if I ever had to reach her um, I could uh, I could what do you think it's weird okay here we go future Rachel come in future Rachel this is past Rachel. Greetings, past Rachel. Oh, hello. I have a question about AI-generated art. I can only answer one question a year. Why? Otherwise, we risk breaching the space-time defibrillibinum. Do you mean the space-time continuum? <laughs> No, no, that's not my question. That's bad. Uh, this blue portal thing opens up and then this giant cat with an accordion comes out and it would pretty much destroy all realms and dimensions if uh, the time cops don't um, fix it in time. I'm not kidding this time. Uh, that, that's a serious thing. One question. Okay, but I have so many. I want to know, will AI art replace human artists? Is it even art? What is the definition of art? Is it about the journey or the end result? Will AI art hang in museums in the future? And who actually owns it? Ah, uh, the corporations, the people who develop the prompts. Will there ever, ever be another good Terminator movie? I don't know what to ask. I'm sorry, one question. Oh, are there still Twinkies in the future? Yes, yes, there are still Twinkies. Twinkies are eternal. Excellent question. Bye. Wait, that wasn't my... Oh. Thank you, future Rachel.